Good morning, Chris Vernon with Vernon Litigation Group. We are preparing for the hurricane, both personally and professionally, as all my friends and colleagues are doing. And this is a difficult and stressful time, and I know you're getting a lot of tips on things to do before the hurricane, during the hurricane. I want to talk to you about what is in our wheelhouse, and that is what do you do after the hurricane, and especially I want to talk to you specifically about property damage issues and possible scams. There will be roofers driving around your neighborhood. There will be water mitigation specialists driving around your neighborhood after the hurricane and maybe soon after the hurricane. Some of them may even have their attorneys with them. Some of these folks are complete scam artists. Just because they're promising you, or in fact I would say because they're promising you that they can do a roofing job for you or fix your water leak faster and cheaper than the legitimate professionals in town is a big red flag. If they want you to sign a document right away, that's a big red flag. If they have an attorney with them, that's a big red flag. And the same goes for phone calls. You may get phone calls that threaten you that you're going to lose your insurance, that if you don't do something, your insurance is not going to cover you, or you may get calls from charities. These are all important things. It's important to get your roof fixed. It's important to get the leaks fixed. It's important to give money to charity. It's important to make sure your insurance is in place. But just because somebody gives you a pitch does not mean you should react to it. Please call somebody local, call somebody you know, call somebody you trust, and call somebody who's honest and knows what they're doing to get a second opinion before you sign anything, respond to a threat, respond to a charitable appeal, or anything out there. It's most important this weekend that we stay safe, but once we're safe and our loved ones are safe, please refocus on your financial issues and protect your financial assets. Let's be safe out there.